welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would do an introduction of myself for any new viewers. So my name is Caroline Livesey. I am 36 years old. I am a level 2 riding instructor and I work at one of the big riding schools just outside of Stockholm, Sweden. I have my own horse. She's called Edwina. I call her Ina for short. She is a 13 year old mare by Empire and Cagalostro. I also have a cat, she's called Bella, she's a five-year-old mixed breed. And I live in a little house with my husband. Uh, we've been married for two years now. Our wedding anniversary is coming up really soon, next week actually. Uh, but we've been together for more than 14 years. So I thought that today I would take you guys with me when I'm at the stables, just do a simple stable vlog. So yeah, tag along. So I'm going to check the flooring here in the outer arena because I thought that I would ride here today. It's a 50 by 50 arena. Uh, it can become quite solid when uh, it's not been raining for a while and quite dusty as well. It seems fine now today so uh, my plan is that I'm gonna work in a, a bit out here actually going to walk her a lot I had a pretty interesting discussion with my uh, trainer when I was there on Friday and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna focus a lot on the walk and see that I can make in a relax and stretch out and come like drop her nose a bit and uh, work her a lot in the walk and then I'll just like briefly work her in the trot and then the canter um, yeah that's the plan for the day I'm gonna head back into the stables that's behind me uh, and knock out so I'm done mocking out in a stall I've filled up with new shavings as well um, we just got a new delivery so I'm super happy about that I have also put her afternoon hay on the floor uh, and then filled up with water. So I'm gonna go leave the wheelbarrow and then I'm gonna go fetch Ina in the paddock. So this is my girl Ina. As I said before, she's a 13 year old mare by Empire, Cagalostro. And you're super dirty now. Hey, girly. Yeah, it's time to go inside and get cleaned. So Ina is my second horse that I own ever. Uh, I've had three horses. Uh, so my first horse was uh, Leonora H, Lea. I had her until she became 20 and then unfortunately she broke her leg in the paddock and she had to be put down. And then after Lea I had a gelding uh, that was 11, no he was 12 years old. I had her for him. I had him for about six months and I had him on uh, alone. And then uh, after looking for a horse for a while, I found Ina. And I've had her for, as I said, two years and five months now. And I'm super happy with her. So I'm just like my first horse. I'm, I'm never going to sell Ina. Uh, I mean, I can never say never, but that is my intention. I'm never going to sell her. I just want to keep her for the rest of her life. And yeah, <laughs> my plan and my hopes and dreams are that I'll be able to get my own horse yard one day and then we'll grow old together there. Mm -hmm. You mean Bella and Jose? Yeah. So we're going to head inside now.
gonna just have a bit of lunch now. Uh, while I'm gonna head out to her paddock and I'm gonna put up some more fencing. She has like a big patch in her paddock that is super muddy. There is no grass left there now and that's basically just where uh, she goes to have a poo uh, or have a roll. So um, it's just gonna keep getting muddier and, mud and muddier because it will rain um, I think from tomorrow, Tuesday. So uh, I'm gonna go out and do that while she has a little snack. Here we go, finished. So I've put Ina out now, uh, I'm gonna get her ready and pack her up. I'm gonna brush her a bit even though uh, I have just washed her off, just to make sure that it, she is really clean and that she doesn't get any shades or anything from her equipment. So I thought that I would tell you guys a bit more about myself. I started riding uh, at a local riding school when I was six years old and I've been riding ever since. I took a brief break when I was like 21 or 22 for a year or so and then I started working with horses professionally in 2008. I took my first riding instructor license in 2011 and then the next one in 14 and then the la very last one which was the level 2 one I took in 2016 at Strömsholm. <laughs> I love traveling and me and my husband have been on several pretty long trips. We've been to Japan five times and South Korea two times. We've also been to Thailand and Hong Kong and just you know like all the regular spots in Europe I guess. So my husband is from England so we've been there several times as well. So for me show jumping has always been my passion and I obviously really like dressage as well. Uh, I obviously work in uh, on the flat uh, every week, several times a week, but I just feel like show jumping is more fun and more suited for me. I like high speeds and a bit of adrenaline, so yeah, I've just been loving that ever since I was a little kid. So I never had my own pony when I was uh, a kid. I actually bought my, own, my very first horse that I told you guys about, Leah, and I got her when I was 22 or 23 years old and I saved up a lot of money for her and uh, she was just my dream horse and I was super lucky to be able to buy her. Uh, when I got her she was 14 years old and a real schoolmaster and I had so much fun with her those six years that I had her and she taught me a lot. Not only riding wise uh, but patience and just uh, horsemanship and I'm really grateful for her. So I'm going to continue attacking Ina now. So I'm gonna start by warming up Ina, I'm just gonna hand walk her. I have put out some poles on the ground around the arena here. So it's time to warm up.
So it's time for a voiceover and I thought that I would tell you guys a bit more about Ina. Ina is a very sensitive horse. She's quite sensitive to sounds. Ina has a lot of blood in her. She's athletic. She's very forward and she can become quite hot on uh, certain days. I need to work her on the flat and over poles quite often to make her relax. But obviously I also go out on hacks and let her see uh, other environments and just being able to stretch out in the woods uh, is obviously helping her relax mentally as well. Uh, she's very alert and yeah, I think she needs different type of exercises and different type of workouts to be able to relax and feel comfortable. So in today's ride, I focused a lot on the walk in the beginning of my riding session. And just as I said before, I mounted Ina in the beginning of the clips here. Uh, me and my trainer had a discussion about uh, what the top riders do to make their horse supple. And they walk their horses quite a lot in the beginning of their riding sessions, making their horses stretch, drop their nose, relax, uh, and just flex right and left. They also make their horses yield from the leg quite a lot. And as you could see in the beginning here, I have done a lot of circles, some leg yielding, uh, and also bending around the inside. And then I basically do the same thing when I trot, but I do uh, blend in the work over the poles quite quickly into my warm up. I do a lot of circles, transitions within the trot, just bending her around my inner leg and just trying to get a feel for her hind legs and that I get an even contact in both my reins. And to get an even contact on both reins she has to accept both my legs and be able to go forward for my leg uh, and then I also try to keep a bit more of a closer contact on the rein where she wants to drop the contact and in the rein where she wants to keep the contact a bit more stiff or harder I will be really soft in that hand and just really focus on the rein where she drops the contact. What she does there is that she kind of drops the connection with her hind leg so with Ina, I know that it is her right hind leg that I need to work on to push that forward. So she pushes both the left and the right leg in an even pressure or contact forward. And what that does is that makes her straighter. So if you think of the horse as if it was a car and both the wheels both the hind wheels need to push the car forward just as much, with just as much energy. But if one of the hind wheels don't push the car forward as much as the other one, then the car won't move forward, it will probably go in a circle or something. So making the horses both hind legs push forward or with just as much energy will make the horse straight. And then when I start cantering in, I do the same thing. I'm very light in my seat. I do a lot of big circles and transitions within the canter to make it really listen to my aids and be really in front of the leg. I also think a lot about my own position here. Even though I'm in a really light seat, I try to keep an even pressure in both stirrups 
really center myself over my horse, keep my eyes looking forward, and keeping my shoulders together. And then when I come down into the saddle, that is the same thing I think about yet yeah, again. Keeping my eyes up, my shoulders together, keeping my back straight, having a close contact, yet a very relaxed contact with the saddle, and really keeping myself centered, having an even pressure in both stirrups as well. And that concludes this voiceover. So I've just finished riding Ina, I've taken away all the poles as you can see here um, and I'm just gonna go for a little walk with her now so she gets to cool down properly. Um, I just checked my GoPro that I had set up here and it seems like the files were corrupted somehow and I only have 20 minutes filmed out of my whole hour of riding. That is really frustrating. Uh, Ina felt so good today and I just, I don't even know what footage I have. So probably not all the canter work over the poles that I did um, when she felt really good. Um, but I'm happy with today's riding. I'm gonna walk her off now and then we're gonna head back to the stables. So I've just put Ina back out in her paddock and she's munching away on some hay and I also just filled up her water bucket for her. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Please also leave a comment down below. What did you think about today's riding session? Uh, is there anything else you would like to know about me or Ina or maybe my previous horses? Please drop a comment down below. Please also subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!